Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out the public transport AI testing resource. Um, so this is a pretty buggy resource and they admit to that immediately off the bat. This is pretty much a experimental version for this, um, but it does technically work. So a lot of people wanted me to highlight it. Um, so I'm going into it a little bit today. Um, so pretty much what it does is it adds AI driven buses around the map and it is standalone. It does not require anything else to use it. Um, and you can obviously make custom routes um, and all that cool stuff. I really like that. Um, I think the configurability of this and customizing that is so cool. I could not imagine that not being a thing. Like that's just crazy to think about. Um, but you can create custom routes. You can have as many of them as you want. And the bus will drive around to each point. Um, the start heading, how often the buses run, the bus number it shows on it, the color of the blip, the bus itself name, and all the vector points, which is those coordinates that we did in another video of where you want it actually to stop. If it should stop there, if it shouldn't stop there, should it just drive through that point? All of that good stuff is there. So pretty cool. Um, so let's get into this. Let's go ahead and just go to the GitHub. And then from the GitHub, just go ahead and press the code button and download it as a zip file. Open it up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up your files. And in here, you can see you got the main file, the client server, config, FX manifest, and the readme. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our 5M server. We're going to go to our server data resources folder. If you're on TX admin, be your TX data folder. If you're on Zap hosting, it will be on your FTP file access. Or if you are on your local host, it's probably your server data resources folder if you're doing it the old way. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to drag in the public transport all the way into your folder. You're going to rename and get rid of the dash main. And then you're just going to copy the rest of the folder name and copy that into your clipboard just to keep it easy. And then we're going to go over the configure files. Let's open this up. It is just normal JSON files. Um, and this is where it goes over the different routes. So you have two default routes here. Um, it will tell you how to change the names and all that is available on the wikis, which is terrific. And then it will go ahead and explain where it stops, all the vectors for those, um, and then go from there. So pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? Um, and you can also do slash bus stop to get a bus stop ready to be just pasted in here. So you can do that in game and it will give you the, and copy it to your clipboard of the thing that you need to actually paste in for everything that works. So you don't even have to get all this manually either. Um, so then if we go to our server data, server.cfg file, edit with notepad or notepad plus plus, and add ensure the name of the resource, this case, public transport. And if we go ahead and start up our server, we should see started resource public transport right there. And then we can hop in game and look at our AI driven buses. So we are in game here and you can see all the bus stops are located over on the map. We are next to one of the blue and the green bus stops. Obviously, uh, the color is configurable inside that config file I showed you. Hopefully this did help you out. Hopefully you can board a bus, have some fun with it, enjoy it and all that good stuff. Enjoy the AI buses driving around your map. I think it just makes it a little bit more realistic. If you have problems with this resource, ask the author over on the GitHub or the resource page. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Um, I think it's almost New Year's, so happy early New Year's. See you guys very soon. Goodbye.